Yes, so good speaking. So today I will show to you that uh, this is my first three quarter. I faced a lot of problems to make it work. Actually, I didn't test yet, but I, 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 read, I can make a, a, a video to show the basics about three quarter. Uh, I can show how to fix some problems that I faced and I can show how it works and uh, so that's it. This will be around three video series about the tricopter and uh, I hope you like the videos. So let's start. So first of all, this tricopter is composed by brushless motor, motors, okay. And uh, the first problem that I faced was because I didn't know that it was necessary to use this adapter to hold the propeller okay so you need this adapter it's have some screws in the engine the motor and uh, this holds the propeller in place as you can see the motor is the pin of the motor the axle is face down and this is screwed in the motor body okay guys so as you can see the motor is hold is connected in a ask I'm using the hub king asks the same asks in the all the motors this foreign pair hub king asks and these asks are connected in the motor and on it we have a, a sino cable and a battery cable I did a cable to hold to connect all the cables for all the asks in the same battery as you can see I did this cable you can buy a distribution board if you want to use with it so all these asks are connected I put this mask to protect the electronics all this all this in uh, asks here are connected on this board this is a KK2 board are connected in the right side of the board and on the left side of the board my receiver is connected on it okay so the receiver is not connected directly in the asks is connected in a controller board for multicopters um, on top of that a tricopter needs a servo okay and the servo is in charge of the yell ya movement okay so make the tricopter turns and I'll show to you um, basically that's it I'm using 3S battery KT2 board receiver asks motor adapter propeller and a frame and this frame I bought in Hopkins too it's a X900 and I have a video to uh, that shows how to assemble it. This is a shrink tube that I put to hold the asks and the cables in place. You need also male to male cables to connect the receiver on the AK2 board. This is a male to male cable, okay? And you need some ex uh, server extensions like, where is it? Like these ones, okay? As you can see, this is a servo extension. I have a lot of them here to increase the the uh, cable sign sino cable to the board. Okay, as you can see here, to increase the size of the sino cables. Okay, okay, guys. Now I will show how it works. And uh, as you can see, I put my tricopter in a bottle, uh, part of a soda bottle and I will arm it now okay the sound you listen and it's beeping to show that it's armed now I add some throttle on it and as you can see the tricopter is working to be aligned okay this is the self level even I, if I try to add some roll movement, when I release the boot on the tricopter back to the original position, if I 
row, uh, row no, sorry, I, I, I changed the yaw of the tricopter, it keep the alignment. If, we, if I go forward or backward, when I release the button, the tricopter backs to the original position. Okay, this is the self level. The, the controller board, the KP2, works to keep the tricopter always aligned. So if I try to push it down, if I keep backs, look, look at the servo working to keep the tricopter in the position. Okay, this is the best way that I found to check if my tricopter is well aligned. The, the, the weight is well distributed and uh, this is the way the tricopter works. When we turn the ya, uh, this servo turns. I will show to you here. And the tricopter turns. When we try to go to add some roll, one propeller starts to turn faster and the tricopter starts to make the roll movement. Okay. I have some tests to make to you. So once that you keep wants to keep aligning all the time, let's even even if I add some weight, it keeps aligned. Look. If I make some movement, Okay, so this is how the tricopter works. Uh, the propeller on the right side, this one that I'm showing to you, is turning to the counter, uh, clock counter side, and the other one is clock side. Okay, if I increase, it's more stabilized. The, this board, the KK2 or the other boards are responsible by this tricopter alignment and tricopter uh, adjustments. Okay? Uh, if we turn off the self level, when we make a, a movement like this, and when I release the boot, the tricopter doesn't back to the aligned position. I will turn off the self alignment now, Let's turn it off. I will just increase a bit and I will turn oops look the tricopter is losing the alignment I will turn on look just back it's aligned again that's the difference without the cell the out aligning boat starts to lose the the weight because it's heavier is going to fall now back again. I'm changing the auto level mode in this button here because I'm using the auxiliary channel to configure it. So when we change, it doesn't back by itself. Okay, we need to. Turn it on and it will pop her back again to the self level and flat as in the ground. So that's it. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to make more videos about the tricopter. I will test the tricopter today's night and let's see what happens. I think that will be a, a shame because I don't know how to control it. And uh, I think that will fail. <laughs> Hope you like it. Thumbs up in the videos. See you. Bye.